Hey guys, Picano here, bringing you the GTA 5 video, and I'm sorry about the delay on the uploads recently, but I've been, as you know, had a massive race last night with the Endurance Championship, so I'm currently editing and putting everything together for the highlights, which takes a bit of time and obviously uh, to do, so expect that later on this week. But today's video is basically the Osiris, which we got from the Part 1 Ill-Gotten Games DLC which was the quickest supercar when it first came out. It beat the Zentorno around lap times, you know, it beat every motherfucker going around. And then obviously it got overshadowed by the T20 when that came out in part two. Now, the whole point of this video is basically, for, for, for the past few days, um, playlists and races like this, as you're seeing now, um, I've been using the Osiris a lot more than the T20. Now, um, the reason for that is because I just wanted to switch up, you know, this car we only had to play around with for like three weeks and then the next DLC came out of the T20 and then because that had like a dramatic spoiler, dramatic, is that the right word, really? Um, an active spoiler which goes up and down, you know, a bit like the P1 in real life, it was sort of like, whoa, this is a brand new sort of uh, thing to the to the car, you know, in the in GTA 5 terms. So, and obviously it was the fastest car. And it was slightly quicker off the line, um, but in terms of top speed, they're very the identical in terms of top speed. Really, these two cars, the Osiris and the T20. Now, what well, the whole point is basically, I've been using this car for a few more um, attempts when I'm racing. I'm trying to avoid the T20, although I did in the supercar use the T20 because that was the only one that was available at the time. But you'll see that in another video later on this week. Um, but I really love this car. I we this car just got skipped from everyone's sort of um, time in GTA 5 just because of the new T20 came out in a short period of time. But this car really is an absolute dream to drive. It is very sort of fat. I still remain. It's a fat car. You saw there. I clipped the barrier, but the back end hit it only, and it's just it's funny. But you know, if you can control the car, then you know you don't need to do that. But it's such a nice car to drive. It's so, it's so uh, f um, nice and smooth. You know, you can take nice corners with it. You hit the apexes and things like that. But you can just keep up with the T20, no problem. You know, uh, Mackin uh, was in the T20, a very good driver. Okay, he had off road tyres, but you know, it's not, it's not a biggie. But you know, it's just the fact is the Osiris can keep up, and I just, I think I at this moment in time, I actually prefer. The way the Osiris drives now, just because I'm using it a lot more, um, and it's just a lot more, a lot more fun really, just to play around with. I know I made another video that is the Osiris fun, and the, it wasn't at the time because, you know, it was just another supercar. But having the T20 being out now, and obviously go, seeing this car, it's just made me look a different way, and I'm currently enjoying the the Osiris. So. Uh, yes, yes, the Osiris is, um, personally at the moment, a, a very good choice, and a, I really do love this car. So guys, that's just a video I know I uploaded in the last few days, but that's just my update. I like to give you updates on where I am in GTA 5 and things like that. So I really appreciate it. Like I said, watch out for the highlights later this week. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. New round here, subscribe, you know what to do. I'm talking really fast, but see you later, guys. Cheers.